These considerations distinguish the Supreme Court's holding in Nixon v. Fitzgerald that in part, because inquiries into the president's motives would be, quote, highly intrusive, the president is absolutely immune from civil private damages actions based on his official conduct. 457, you, uh, as Fitzgerald recognized, there is a lesser public interest in actions for civil damages than, for example, criminal prosecutions. For example, in criminal prosecutions, see Cheney, and private actions are not subject to the institutional protections of an action under the supervision of the Attorney General, 